We're going to give you our predictions for this game coming up on Locked On Sears. You are Locked On Sooners, your daily podcast on the Oklahoma Sooners. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. So before we get to our predictions here in a second, Jay, what is an SEC matchup that you're looking forward to? I'm really, really excited to watch Auburn, Arkansas. And that might be the fact that, okay, Oklahoma plays Auburn next, but also right. I'm kind of ready for some Auburn disaster to occur. That is an intriguing thought there, right? That Yeah, Arkansas-Auburn's probably the one game this week that jumps out the most to me. Um, I am curious to see if Florida bounces back or if Jeff Levy and his fighting uh, Mississippi State Bulldogs fight back instead. That's, that's out the there sickest in, game of the week right there. That has got to be the sickest game of the week. I mean, my goodness. that both And Florida's a six-point favorite out there in Stark Vegas. How are they going to get out to Stark Vegas out there and be a favorite? That is not a good thing. But I that those – I mean, those two are probably, well, they're the only three games this season, uh, this week um, for the SEC, but I am think I'm with you. Arkansas and Auburn's interesting, mainly because Arkansas has shown us some glimmers of a really good team, especially yeah. a good offense. I'm curious to see if they can go out there to Auburn and, I mean, does, does, who's Auburn's quarterback? Do they even know? Yeah, I think they're rolling with Hank. From what I understand, Hank Brown, right? That, that's okay. So Hank I mean, Brown is going to be the guy, right? They're going to go that's ahead and be just... the guy this week. But that's that's who they rode last week and so hey, to, <laughs> to good success. So, but hey, maybe they go back to Peyton Thorne. I, I don't know. I, I just think this is going to be a fascinating matchup because Taylor Green has looked really, really good at times, and mm-hmm. then he's had some moments where he's like, okay, that's not so great. Um, Pu. I think one fan base is going to be melting to the ground uh, after this game and. It very well could be Auburn. It very well could be Arkansas. I think it's a coin flip. Um, who wins it? I, I think Vandy at Mizzou is kind of interesting. Listen, Vandy hasn't looked the same since they beat Virginia Tech, but could they find a little bit of magic this week against the Tigers? Probably not, but I- I'll be curious to see how that one goes. Look, if, if, if Pavia decides that he wants to have another breakout game, that's the one. Go out there. You saw what um, you saw what Boston College was able to do when when they couldn't make the right decisions. They had Mizzou on their heels. I'm here to say that you sh- Vanderbilt that they're what twenty point dogs right now might be worth jumping on. I feel like Vanderbilt's team's a little bit better than people are giving them credit for this year, and they may go out there and bring some pain on people. Now, they, took a, they took a bad loss to Georgia State last week. God, that was so, an awful loss. On the hey, road. Time, hey, to, time on, to bounce guys. back. Time to get that bounce back going with Clark Lee. All right, let's get to Oklahoma, Tennessee. Jay, how do you feel like this one's going to go for the Sooners? <sighs> Yes, you know, this is a Homer channel. We we talk uh, locked on Sooners. We're Sooners fans. We're talking Oklahoma 100%, right? Um, but I'm realistic too, right? I, I see what Tennessee has and what they're capable of. But at the same time, I haven't seen them at their full potential yet. We don't know what Tennessee's ceiling is right now. They're looking really good on the field, but we don't know what the ceiling is. They haven't been pushed. They haven't been really been challenged yet. We're coming in with a very good linebacker unit and secondary. That spread just does not look right to me. I'm definitely taking Oklahoma plus the points in this. And to be honest, I'm going to go to Moneyline. I think Oklahoma can pull this out. I think it's going to be like 28-24. I think no matter which team wins, is Tennessee wins or Oklahoma wins, it's going to be within a four-point range. I don't think it's going to be a blowout because Tennessee is still trying to figure out what all that they have, especially with Nico, because they haven't had him have to lead them anywhere yet. They've been so dominant. It's just been hand the ball off. The running backs are going to do everything. So if we can make it them one dimensional and make Nico beat us with his eyes and his arm, not his legs. We don't want him scrambling or running, (laughs) but with his eyes and his legs, I think that we have a chance of actually winning this game this time around. Again, I said, if this was November, I'd be a lot more nervous. This is Nico Yamalayava's first road start in his career. Yep. It's his you know, first start against an SEC team. 
Now, SEC fans are going to be out there like, Oklahoma's not an SEC. No, Oklahoma's in the SEC. They're an SEC team. SEC. SEC. <laughs> this is going to be the toughest defense that he's faced this season. You could argue that maybe it's even tougher than the Iowa defense they faced at the end of last year. You can maybe argue it. You can argue it's well, a better I mean, team than what Yeah, you got a team with an actual offense, so I mean, yes. technically, yeah. So the pressure, there's going to be more pressure put on this young, talented five-star quarterback. Hmm. Much like a lot of people are talking about with Jackson Arnold. They're in similar boats. This as defense you, is going to be really, really good. Do you have a thought? As to you say that, that, real quick, as you say that, Iowa's always been a really good pass defense. Not really a good run defense. That's what they're known for. Their corners, their secondary, their linebackers always have been really good in the past. I mean, they held Eco to 151. But they've never been just – they've never had the, the the girth up front on the defensive line to where – they have edges, but never defensive linemen to really stop and stuff the run. That may be something to think about with that one. Please continue. Oklahoma's defensive tackle group is going to be the difference in this game. There From Jaden Jackson to Dominic Williams to Dejon Terry, Grayson Halton, a little bit of David Stone mixed in, and some Ashton Sanders. That's going to be the difference in this football game as those guys hold up the point of attack and, and keep the linebackers clean. They take on the double teams, allow Danny Stutzman to roam free, allow Kobe McKenzie and Kip Lewis to run free, allow Kendall Dolby to do what Kendall Dolby does and just go make plays. It's going to keep Tennessee's offense in check just long enough for Oklahoma's offense to to find enough scoring. And I'm with you. I think it's going to be a really, really tight football game. And I've got Oklahoma winning 20 to 20 or 23 to 20. I've been saying it. I said it with Spencer McLaughlin for Locked On College Football earlier in the week. I said it at Sooners Wire on our predictions for our staff predictions on Thursday. I'm saying it again. I'm triple down and on it. Oklahoma 23 to 20 beats the volunteers, shocks the world. Comes out on top, stays undefeated at 4-0, heading down to Jordan-Hare Stadium the week after. Let's get it. Let's get it. Boomer Sooner. And that's going to do it for today's episode baby. of Locked On Sooners. Thanks so much for tuning in, being a part of the show. Subscribe to the show wherever you get your podcast. Let us know your predictions in the YouTube comment sections. Hit us up over on Twitter at Locked On Sooners or Facebook at Locked On Sooners as well. Or you can join us in the Locked On Sooners Insider Program by texting 405 405- uh, 817-6711. Again, that's 405-817-6711 to join the Locked On Sooners Insider Program. You will get two weeks for free where you can interact with us, but let us know your score predictions as well. I've been seeing some in the YouTube chat throughout the week. A lot of people super high on Tennessee. I think that sets up for maybe a little bit of a letdown. I don't know. We'll find out so much this Saturday. It's going to be a really, really fun weekend. And I think Oklahoma is going to have a great game, but until next time, he's Jay Smith. I'm John Williams. We cannot wait to break it all down with you here on locked on Sooners. Boomer sooner.